The alternative has been proposed that we enter a new customs union with the European Union. But what would this mean? As rule takers, without any say in how the rules were made, we would be in a worse position than we are today. It would be a complete sellout of Britain's national interests and a betrayal of the voters in the referendum. Dr Fox, given that your former head of department has said you'd need a fairy godmother to get the kind of have cake and eat it deal that he, say, he says you want with the European Union, and you yourself have said that British business needs to raise its game to take full advantage of Brexit. Is the greatest danger that Brexit could lead to national self-harm or that there simply aren't enough true believers like you? I think that we need to set out an ambitious programme for the United Kingdom. It's not about sticking to the patterns of the past. And I understand, as I say, that those who have been professionally committed to those for many years would want to adhere to them. I want to think beyond where we are today to the opportunities available to the future. The fact, as I said at the beginning, that the IMF has pointed out that 90% of global growth will be outside the European continent in the next 10 to 15 years. We cannot afford to be bound by the practices and the patterns of the past. We have to take the opportunities available unfettered by those who would make the rules on our behalf. Former Permanent Secretary Sir Martin Donnelly has likened the plan you just outlined to swapping a three-course meal for a packet of crisps. What's your response to that? And are you concerned there are some in the British establishment who still don't accept Brexit and want to stop it. The particular choice that I heard Sir Martin Donnelly outline that was a choice between the European Union and trade opportunities elsewhere and the continuation of EU trade agreements, I don't believe that is the choice that we face. We are already uh, trying to seek a full uh, and liberal partnership with the European Union. We are already having discussions about expanding our trade agreements beyond the EU. And we're also talking about rolling over the EU agreements into UK law so that we get no disruption in terms of market access at the point of exit. So it's not a choice of one or the other.